this is the migration tool that we use to migrate VMs from VMware or any other platforms to a KVM hypervisor. So the primary goal here is to kind of simplify this process and, you know, allowing users to move more than one VM at a time, you know, without any issues. These are just some of the all key uh, features of this. The V2V, you know, it's uh, it's the support migration from various, so like I said, virtualization platforms, including VM, Zen, and hypervisor. Uh, the conversion process is the it's a tool that converts virtual machines from their original state. So the conversion handle the disk and the network and all that. And then the VM migration also is like has a specific enhancements. It can convert, like I said, disk and network. Also, it's it reconfigured the network setting. So when I move a particular VM, you'll see it comes back up with that same uh, IP that I gave it initially. This is just a you know, a diagram that shows the B2B migration. And these are some links that you can have all the stuff that we actually can explain, actually reference somehow, some way in these documentation. So without further ado, let me uh, dive in into the uh, actual demo here. I want to go ahead and actually honestly start with the V2V migration. That's going to take a little bit of time. That's going to take a good 45 minutes. So I'm going to kick that off and let it run in the background. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a running VM on uh, VMware. You'll notice this is the IP address for it. So I'm going to actually go ahead and try to do change something there in that VM. And I'm going to show you how to do the actual migration. So this is the VM. I'm going to go in. OK. So this is the VM. Um, I'm going to just actually uh, create a file. So remember, though, this file is here. And we're going to check on that after the migration is completed. And I'm going to um, use the same IP address I used. So, so the first thing to do is I'm going to shut it down on the uh, source. And I'll kick off the migration like I told you. And so the migration happens. Um, I have to, I, I happen to have actually. V2V tools installed on the uh, KVM host that belongs to the, oops, the environment. So I'm using this host to run this migration. This will connect to the VMware. This, um, by trying to uh, run this command, it tells me like what VMs are running on the VMware. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is actually the VM that I was uh, referencing, the uh, OL887 mini, and it's, it's shut off, so it's down. First, let me set the environment. This is just the environment variables that's used to set like the backends of the uh, the libguest fs, and you know by doing this command, providing um, you know the, a direct uh, path to 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 do that. And this is the command that I'm going to run. This is the uh, V2V. This is the source, and this is the VM itself. All these things will will be actually included in that document. Um, that password that you have to create two password files. So that's the first one. And then um, this is the uh, uh, target or destination. Um, and then um, this is the other uh, password file that I mentioned. This is uh, the cluster we have to um, mention, you know, we have to list that. And then um, this is the, uh, this is for the disk. The, the OA is the pre-allocated disk. So we go ahead and run that, and that will, like I said, will take about a good forty-five minutes. Um, it does the conversion, it, then it, it then it transfer the um, VM and the, the disk, and and then the network, and it handles all that in the background. So our actually migration has completed. Uh, let's just take a look at the uh, successful. Everything's good, and. What you do is just uh, just make sure 
it's going to come up with the with the same IP address, same file, you know, whatever files we 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 had. I'll, I'll prove that you know everything is there now. So that's the same IP address that we uh, was originally running on VMware. And this is uh, the file that we put uh, before we migrated it. 